Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Lewis, and today I have a Substance Designer tutorial to address a Substance Painter problem. Well, I really wish uh, Adobe gave us some building type to use system fonts instead of uh, having each SBSR file for each different font. And there's also these bitmaps here that we can use. However, ArtStation and other platforms have been, become saturated with hard surface models using the same decals. We can spot that. Uh, it's not a problem. I use it myself because it became convenient and accessible in this place. But we need to evolve as artists and create our own things, our own assets. You know? So that's why I'll be teaching today how we can create a SBZR file as of today, uh, expose these parameters, regular, bold, change the size, and put your own font there. Here we are in Substance Designer, and I will create a new graph. Here, clicking in Learn, Create New Substance. Let's start by changing this to Ubuntu, which is the font name we'll be creating specially for Substance Painter. Uh, we can leave it at 4K resolution for now. I think this is a good, good one. The end file we, we will end up a little bit uh, larger, but that for a font, that's not, not a problem at all. So, uh, what I like doing is clicking space, finding output, finding our output here, and also clicking space again and adding a text node. So, let's uh, put them on space around each other here. And here, if we click on the text node, double click on it, you can see we have different parameters related to it that we can expose by clicking here on this drop down and expose. Uh, but before we need to select our font. So as a demo example, I will select uh, the Ubuntu font, which is right here. Uh, this is open source, so there's no problem in using on commercial projects or things like that. And you can see we have uh, formatting here, such as medium, bold, italic, things like that. However, um, Substance Designer also doesn't let us expose this parameter as it is. So we need to create a little trick here to actually expose the different font settings. And by that, um, we usually duplicate Ctrl C, Ctrl V, the same font. But before that, uh, let's expose the text first. Let's also expose the, the font size and leave it font size. And uh, let's see one once more. You can also expose rotation, position, things like that if you want, okay? For, for this tutorial purpose, I, I want. Let's click Ctrl C, Ctrl V and Ctrl C, Ctrl V again. So let's make three variations of that. So on this one, I'll leave it at um, regular. So this one will be the, the light one. This, will, this one will be medium. And this one will be bold. So we have bold, medium, and light, which is really thin font. Um, we can't preview the files here. So before that, um, we can also click on nothing, such as uh, here on the graph. We double click on the graph. We will see that the, the settings change here and we can come down here, input parameters. And these are all the files we're going to be uh, exposing, which means uh, allowing Substance Painter to dynamically change the yeah. So uh, you can see we have a string for text. Here we can see default text. So we can write here, uh, I write my name. So Arab as the default text. And you can see 
as we do that, all uh, different um, nodes here change to Kerb. So now comes the game changer factor, which uh, for us to allow to expose different um, font sizes, we need to create a switch. Okay, so to create a switch, you click space again, and you search for switch. And we have a mode switch grayscale, okay? Uh, you can also have a switch grayscale, which is only two parameters, but we'll be using the multi switch because we can determine more than one uh, setting. Uh, so let's click mode switch. And if you come to the mode switch options here, in pin number, you can see we can set multiple. So you, if you want to expose italic or uh, your font has multiple variations, you can do that. Okay, this one we'll be leaving at three because we only want to expose these three font types. Um, and then let's link to each other right here. Okay, and link to this to the output. And that's it, that's really simple. Uh, you don't need to do more. Now we need to expose the switch selection. So we can come here, you can see input selection. And let's expose that. And then you can give this a name such as um, style, okay? Which is the font style. Click OK. And then let's click on the graph, on the empty graph again, double click on it. And here again, we have the input parameter settings. Now we, you can see we expose the input selection, the integer one called style. And we need to change this from slider be drop down list okay uh and in this drop down list we can create um three different options okay and we can name these options to be respectfully the ones we change so the first one uh is light the second one is medium and the third one is uh bold right and you can set the default one to be selected i will be I'll be leaving it on medium. Also be sure to change these numbers here. So the zero is actually the one, the one is actually two, and the two is actually three. Otherwise it won't count the, the first uh, parameter, which I found to be kind of annoying. And pretty much that's it. You font size is uh, properly exposed and the text is string with the default text here. Okay, so now to export this to Substance Painter, you can go to Unsaved Package here, right click on it, and publish as PSR, okay? So now, uh, how we can use it inside Substance Painter? Well, it's really simple. You can come here to the desktop, select the SBSR file, and drag and drop it to the shelf. When you do that, uh, you see that we actually have uh, a context menu here we need to specify it as an alpha. I usually set it as alpha so it can go to that shelf. And here you can specify if you want it only on the current session forever or keep it on the shelf for every new project that you create or even uh, for all specifically for this project called Meet Matt. So I will leave it to the current session only, click import. Now you can see it imported right here directly on the, the shelf. So if you double click on it, we will activate it. And you can see we have all the, the options we exposed in Substance. So uh, this is the medium font. We can set it to light as well. Uh, and also bold. So it's actually alternating between those same variations. So everyone, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'll be leaving this file for free on my Gunroad store if you want to download it and check it out by yourself. Um, and that's it. Consider subscribing, liking the content, and uh, until next time, see ya.